We're continuing to track Edalia's every move. Tonight, as people up and down Florida's Gulf Coast get ready, Bernie Reno explains exactly why AccuWeather forecasters are certain the storm will rapidly intensify into a major hurricane. In our WeatherWise segment tonight, where we break down something complicated in the meteorological field and we make it easy for you to understand, we're going to explain to you why we are so confident that Idalia is going to become a major hurricane and strengthen over the next 24 hours. Now, throughout the day and even into the part of this afternoon, Idalia has been impacted by what? Wind shear. Here's where we have all the moisture with Idalia, but we have this upper low south of Louisiana. What's that doing? On the southern side, it produces winds out of the northwest and that is the wind shear. That's why all of the moisture has been on the southern side of the center of circulation. But I want you to see what happens here as we go forward here. This upper low is going to be leaving as we go through tonight and especially in the Tuesday. Here's all the energy and you can see all the energy here with our key in the left hand corner. This is all the energy with the Dahlia. But no more northwesterly flow. Instead, winds are going to be light in the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico or out of the south, out, uh, relatively light, beginning Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, right before landfall sometime Wednesday morning. So think about that. Here's all the energy with the Dahlia with lessening wind shear and look at our water temperatures. It's like bath water in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Water temperature is 86 to 88 degrees. So you have the moisture, you have the light wind shear, and you have the warm water. That's why we're calling for the rapid intensification, and this will be a major hurricane before it makes landfall on Wednesday. And now you know. All right, Bernie.